Now students, let's start the second part. In the second part, Lily was learning to play the violin. She wasn't doing well, although the music master was trying his best to make her learn. Mridu went up to the window. She saw Lily sitting with her violin. In front of her, there was the bony music master. Now student, here is the description of the music master. He had mostly bald head. He was wearing a gold chain around his neck and a diamond ring on his hand. During that time, a beggar came at the gate. The mother told Ravi to send him away. She was chatting with Tapi. The beggar's voice irritated her. She complained that he was coming there every day. The beggar was listening everything. The beggar was already in the garden. He had spread a piece of cloth under the neem tree. He leaned against the tree trunk, waiting for the alm. Ravi told him to go away. But the beggar said that, I will sit and, and I will wait here and then I will go. He told that he would go away after taking some rest because it is the afternoon. The tar had melted on the hot road and his bare feet had got blistered. The children got sympathetic towards him. Mridu asked Meena and Ravi if they had got an old pair of sleeper in the house. Ravi went to search. Mridu noticed a pair of chappal in the veranda. See student, in the first part, at the beginning of the chapter, Mridu saw the old pair of chappal which is kept near the door. She remembered that and they were planning to give those chappal to the beggar. He gave it to the beggar to wear and asked him to never come back again. The beggar blessed the children. He pushed his feet into the sleeper and left in a hurry. Now the music master came out and searched for his chappal in the veranda. He said his sleepers were brand new and expensive also. Rukumani came there with Pati. She rightly guessed that it was the mischief played by the children. She was upset and angry. But she went indoor and brought Gopu Mama's new chapel and gave them to the music master. And she apologized to the master on behalf of her son, Ravi. The music master's eyes lit up with the joy because he knows that he get the new chapel and his own chappals are very old, but he was pretending that his own chappals are very good as compared to Gopu Mama's chappal. He put them on and called children naughty. The mother didn't like Ravi being called a monkey. She went inside the house. She thanked God that Gopu Mama's chappal were there. But she laughed to think how much upset would be on his return. She declared that she would take all the blame on herself. Now student, here is the end of the second part. I hope you all understood this.